Looking forward to this series here to end the day in Seattle. It's going to be a fantastic showdown between Nine Panzers and Gaming Gladiators. Fog should be. Still having a little bit of an edge here, Quint. Yeah. First few levels against Kiyotaka. I feel like that's the case always for the ODs, right? So around like the like the four level four hits, and then that's when he's usually able to take advantage of a lot of these melee mids. But I think most of the time the melee mids first few levels they do come out quite a bit ahead. Bottom lane, arrow. arrow. The ghost. He just gets run down by the two of them. Celery. <laughs> The power of the ghost there from the jungle. Very difficult to pressure him. I mean, it, it is a lane here. What, top lane. Tofu. And he's going to him. I mean, Ace should be fine. Usually you do see the 1-1-1 one, one, one skill build, but that just says a lot about how he feels about this lane. That He's just going to be able to sit here. Overall, they're incredibly even on the CS awesome right board. now across the board. Top lane. Getting a good shot back here to push Solo back towards the two of them. Should manage to finish him off. A couple more quills from Ace. They Hope got him. Though. Dofa takes him down. Ramsey's indeed fighting the trade. Few tires coming in onto Ace as well. Means the Ramses might just be able to clean up the two of them. He's got the stick charges. Should the have spray stacks are adding up. Ramses is able to fight through them. Take him down. Double kill for the safe flame weaver. He's got these other two cores that are going to end up being rather greedy. Now Key Attacker, of course, going the Midas route is the yep. OD. Talking about Key Attacker, he's getting gone up on, on the mid lane. Tofu is able to block off his escape. As their the TP's coming in from Nine Pandas, not quite quickly enough to be able to do anything in return. My concern really for Nine Pandas is when the group up it starts to hit, right? Because they've gone for a pretty greedy route with these triple cores. So when the push starts hitting, who's going to be the one to stop them? And Solo, pretty much soloed by Celery there in the Chen. Yeah, tough off we up a little bit with a nicely <laughs> angled dead shot, but indeed go down here is Nine Pandas. This Chen, he's going to handle you. The tempo they can set with these type of early levels, taking towers and stuff like that. Nine Pandas, they really don't have deep push at all. They have no way to clear creep waves or anything. They have to fight. I mean, they're just storming across the map here. Gaming Gladiators, they head back over towards the mid. They've got the combo set up on towards Key Attacker. Boat comes crashing in onto him and Solo. Hello. They take Key Attacker out again. Solo's going to fall. The Torrent catches him. I mean, there's only so much Antares can do. He better start running himself. Gets hit by a huge Diebringer down to half his HP. There's a dead shot. Tofu can't line it up, though. But still, these couple of kills starting to bump up the lead now for Gaming Gladiators. 3k advantage on this Bristol. Ace, pretty untouchable at this stage with the farm that he has. My god, and the farm is just, it, it's growing and growing and growing from 6 now up to 8k. It's only 12 minutes in. And Yataka. Astral's been used. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice little tumblers there. That'll get him out of that. Around like the 16 to 17 minutes is when we've been seeing Aghanim, Shard, Arcane's Vanguard. Ace is set perfectly up for this. Top lane. Ramsey's and hit by stun. On him. The silence as well to come in, but he has got the backup. Solo leads forward over towards Duracho. Duracho's going to get healed, but they not enough. Him. They take down the CK. Close to um, feeling any sort of pressure. Tofu with the save. The rest of gaming is coming over. Kiyotaka. Quinn has got the X on him. And Duracho. And he's just coming in with the wraparound as well. He's ready to fight. And he's looking for them to get the setup on the key attacker, and they will. The silence is there into the rift. An easy kill to be found once again here for Gladiators. 0-3-0 zero, and zero for the last pick OD so far. And make this lineup work out in the long run. How can they stall, though, with almost no way to defend these towers early on? And Tarez, he's getting surrounded. Rest in peace. Goodbye, my friend. Many pieces. And now yeah. this tower also. They've got the tree armor at least to delay for a little bit. But Chen's up here. Mid. Tofu, he's got his ATOS done. He's looking for the setup. Gets the dead shot pushback. Solo had to drop the ult to try and have hold back. Tofu, another little another play. Another toy. Does get Key Attacker out of the combo. They'll settle for Solo. Tofu and Ace running him down. Axe is there. Kiyotaka. Finish him and Duracho. He's actually found Key Attacker over the tier two. Sweeps over from the <laughs> other side of the map. Takes out the OD. Brutal for Ramsey's 12k lead. It just continues to grow. Really just feels that gaming is doing pretty much anything that they want on the map. And Taka has to be so careful when he uses these astrals. And again, now with the force done, he's, he's got extra okay. ways to break it, break away from the attempts. But you can see they just, they have no way to stop pushes. They, they just have, have to run. OD push. They have to just let their towers fall. Because there's nothing they could do on the defensive. And nothing they could do on the offensive. I and mean, nothing they could do at all right now. 12k behind. Combo setups here for Quinn. Comes with the ancient seal. It doesn't matter. Still hey, wait. get the drag back in time. Hopu got Ramses. Hey, he did. He found him. He kept chasing him. Radiant. Oh boy, I mean this. This is, this is, is one of the best ones we've seen on the out here on the, the main stage of the Rotary International Playoffs. And the timing. I, I, I don't know what they do on nine pounders at this point. I mean, you gotta wait for I get ramp radiance on Miro and then look to fight. But the game might just end before that. I think it might end very very shortly.
as they get their drag back onto Key Attacker, dying under the tier fours. It's just 18 minutes in. A beat down. This is what they wanted with the Chen, and oh everything boy. is working for them. I mean, that's the thing. If you're nine pandas, what are you saying has got to go in the next game? Are you, are you taking out a Chen? <laughs> are, you, are you considering that sort of banning against Seven? Because Seven, he did help crush that early game. You've got a whole lot of things to fix, I believe. Yeah. Going into that next game. Right, this one. What do they do? Well, Radiance is done. All right. It's done. They got to try right now. Uh, this, this feels like my pops. You know, you're losing the base, <laughs> but you're offloading Wraith. He's like, I've got my Radiance. It's rough. Ramses caught by the stun. I mean, he's got his Radiance, but he's, he's He just dies one. in a second. He'll and dies in again. another second. All right. All right. We're on to the next right. one. Well, this was, a, this was a quick one, pre-20 minutes by the looks, but 19 minutes in, Ramses gets dragged back into the torrent. I think they might want to end the pain. And then I will. think it, GG it's GG called 19 minutes and a half in gaming. Oh. Wow. wow. Well, yeah. well uh, okay. All right, be careful how greedy you go, I guess. I, is, they won't uh, be doing this again. No. I mean, three independent cores, no way to defend towers whatsoever. And then those lanes, I mean, Celery, you have to give him a lot of the credit in this point. Coming in on the Chen. The Chen just actually took over in seconds. He won bottom, goes mid, takes towers, and things just got out of control. There's Grimstroke with the leash mechanic, but they go with something that we did mention early on, because Bristleback is still open, so... Oh, okay, there we go. That's what we want. Let's go That's mid. aggression. And tempo. There we Every go. One. There could definitely be early kill potential if, if we, we don't see nine pandas. I mean, Antares might just be dead. Okay, he's got the TP. All right. He'll, he'll be all right. He'll be okay. But look, like, immediately, they have to be very careful of the positioning because they didn't take it level the one. Mid win. A win. Solo kill. All uh oh. Right. I mean, he just quickly TP's back. He's going to be back out there quick. They won't. You know, they won't die themselves. They're trying to keep the aggro up, upping the glyph as well, too. Can they still go for this? Solo is making the move down, so it's very similar Team last coming time. In. Here they come. They should get their out here. The Inks well setup comes in. They do. Take him down. See if Tofu can help find anything in return. Gets the dead shot over towards Antares. But Solo and Miro, they'll turn towards Tofu, ready to continue the dive. Fairy fire from Antares keeps him alive for now. Stick charges from Tofu. Won't save him. He still ticks out. Wait, Quinn's here. He turns up. Okay. Does get a cleanup kill. Won't be able to find more. A good aggressive move. Things that you can tell that they need to do that, right? They're, they're they telling. To. They're like, we got to start pressuring this TB because he's just free farming in the lane. Doom getting slowed down a little bit there. They do push forward and get it. Mean, we'll see if they can continue from that, maybe, as you mentioned in the last game. That slows them down a little bit. Yeah. In the lanes here, gaming gladiators. Yeah, they can constantly go for those aggressive plays onto Duraccio, as you're seeing. You're gonna you're gonna be able to see that all the time. Celery might actually put like I mean probably gonna get that point in Sunray at level four. Still grab on me, he's already level six. I guess this four level four spirit breaker. They've got the silence. Is Kid Tucker able to charge out? Gets oh, it off, man. but he doesn't get any distance as Quinn takes him out once again. All right, that is really concerning. A Spirit Breaker off to a very, very slow start versus these tanky heroes versus a Bristle and a Primal Beast. I guess on the plus side, Ooh. at least it, it, he's not on an OD in this situation. I and Atari's will be able to claim his Wisdom Rune. Much closer, of course, as we said, than that last game. It is. Mid is definitely... But Quinn... This is going to be one of those concerns. How much Quinn is going to be able to do? They're going to set up with the hold of the ultimate into the silence and the trample. And they've got it again. once again. It just takes the plus one here for Quinn. He's got his Mask of Madness. You can imagine there's going to be some stacks that are being formed from him as well, too. I say that, but I'm actually seeing Quinn about to He's walk in. Over. He's going to take the stacks. Oh, I mean, and that's a juicy one. And there's, they can't do anything about they it. Can't. it they can't. They try and go for him. A is too tanky, B has oh got a haste rune in the bowl. If, if anyone started to threaten them, they don't even get the chance to. Immediately takes them out. He says, thank you very much. So Top lane. Back in one more time. Oh, actually moving over towards the mid here with a charge for a key attack on towards Ace. This time the dead shot Tofu. Excellently aimed. It doesn't matter. Though. Ramsey is still able to step back in, finish Ace off. More kills for Ramsey. You know, at the least they're, they're, they're taking Ace. the stack. Another one. They certainly <laughs> are. Antares will try and see what he can do here from the side. But Quinn, he's got this haste rune. He's easily out of there. They got Mira, a charge. They're going to the well, looks of his self for Celery. They go for the charge forward onto the Phoenix. This will allow Quinn to continue to create the distance. Oh, they I mean, missed Celery, the stroke. I mean, they've got to still get him, surely. They yeah, blood, blood grenades grenade. are out. It's a all bit right. sloppy, but the kills are kill. But they lost all of their stacks. Yeah, they have two big creeps left, but they pretty much lost absolutely everything. They want to find the Sven. Level six on Celery. This egg, as we said, it's devastating for a hero like Sven early on. I mean, all throughout the game, of course. Yeah, they seem to know exactly where he is. Tofu, can he get the angle? Oh, smoke dispels. They see him. Ramses, he's not aware. He's in trouble. 
And there's going to be no chance of getting over to help out. Surely there, there's a TP coming in. Way too much damage. You can't stop this from happening. Quinn is a real problem with the start that he's been given. He is absolutely massive. And then the difference right now growing between the two mids. A lot harder to always hunt Duracho when this type of game state is happening. And they have ways to defend towers. They still have egg. Kitaka. Making his way down here, but they're ready to fight. Oh, yeah. that is, they've got the four of them. Quinn, he's ready to start things off. Goes straight over towards Mira. They'll turn with the ult. They can soul by now. And the two of them silence as well. Double, Double Doom. Doom will be there. But is it going to be Quinn's enough? Quinn's perfectly fine. The super they're fine. They can't hit the egg. They've got to run. They've got to split here, Nine Pandas. Key attacker, he doesn't make it away. Duraccio takes it down. Mira tries to the TP, but he steadily cannot. finds him. And Solo, he's likely going to get chased too. I Quinn's got a charge. They've got the burn. As Solo, he'll try and run. Pig Pole as well hit. As he's in on top of him, the dead shot comes through. It's three Good kills Lord. for Gaming Gladiators as Nine Pandas attempt completely shut down. They're going to attempt to smoke. That's both sides coming in. Okay, I mean, they. I, I feel like that's the best way to get killed. They want to kill Ace again. The game. You know, so far the game plan has been just kill this bristle back. And they should have him again. They will once more. But here comes the squad. Oh, indeed. Gaming. Here comes the revenge attempt from Gaming Gladiators as they'll turn up. Antara is on the retreat, but Quinn will go forward. Got the illusion rune as well. Still gets holding by the overgrowth. Quinn's What's kind of alone. Get the angle. They get the soul bind out. Just kidding. He's still able to stand his ground over the old Quinn. Grabs Ramsey, slams him into the ground. They're having to head back under the tier two. There's nothing else that Nine Pandas can throw back at Gaming Gladiators. They don't quite have the damage shield to bring down Ramses, but Quinn definitely too tanky for him to actually commit onto there. Versus the Ink Swell as well too, right? It isn't a pretty damn good solution in a lot of situations. And then Ramses. Stepping up, but he has a lot of backup. It's nine pounders, they're smoked up, they're ready to go. So I'm buying into Double Doom once again. They're gonna try and focus Ace. Ramses puts the beacon in the top set, goes towards Careful. Mira off the grab there. Quinn grabs Ramses and slams him out of the game. They now Mira. kill Ace. They've lost the two of them, but Quinn is ready to try and clean up more response as he goes for it, takes Mira down. Key attacker will manage to escape. That was dropping. They've got to let this one go. Fortification comes out. Ramsey's watching from the high ground. It's pressure on multiple fronts. Look, Quinn and Celery, they're set up on mid for Miro while they're pushing bottom. He just opens up straight away on a Miro. Goes into the tier two. The burn of the summary, bringing Miro down low. Can he get up the high ground? He can't. Right. Tofu shoots him down. My right, gaming's just, they're, again, they're just punishing the greed of Ramsey's. Ramsey's. He's getting chased down by Ace. The he's just gone. going to save him, dying oh, under his God. own tier three. It's happening again, Owen. They're going to knock on the doors. It's 19 minutes. Quinn. Well, able to get away, but look at bottom. They're forcing the glyph already. I mean, they, well, what do you do? If you're nine pounders, you once again having to deal with gaming gladiators in your base pre 20 minutes. There's a heart on Quinn. Heart bleed mode's 19 minutes in. They can just probably keep going. 20 seconds still on the spend. They've got their combo. Can they land the big dooms? They're gonna try. Instant yules from Celery. And then at that point, you have to just back off. They're already in with a grab. They just caught Key Attacker. He's, He's dead. dead. 48 seconds. No buyback on him. They still have Egg at the ready, too. They can't commit into this fight on Nine Pandas. Uh-oh. This Rax. I mean, whatever happens, it's they last longer than 20 minutes this time. That's true. It's something. Not look, a lot. Meta's back up because he had that Arcane rune from earlier. Ace. I mean, he's ready to dive. To he's killing four. Miro at the Tier 4. Oh, my God. Well. Oh. Good God. No mercy from gaming today. There are those tier twos on the other lanes, though. That's the so thankful that's thing. So, you know, Pandas, you're like, it's all right, guys. We can only lose one set of racks at this point. I'm We're sure that's... the tier twos in the other lane, so... Uh, I'm sure that's not what they're saying. <laughs> and it's an elimination game. Yeah. No, they no. got to stick in it. But my god, damage truly being done. They're going to smoke up with the three of the nine Pandas. And maybe see if they can chance a fight around the Roshan, but it's going to already be gone. It's dead too fast. And at this point, I don't know if they want to take a fight outside of the base. They might just have to go full retreat here. They do put Vision down. Do they want to go for this, though? I mean, they see Celery. They see three heroes. They're going to They're try. They're going to go for it. Again, in with the opening. Charge across as well. Two tanky heroes. They should have a chance to take it out. Celery, they've got the overgrowth as well. Here comes Ramses. Phoenix now. 
And with the BKB in the gold straight, looking towards Duracho. Duracho also settled himself into a worse situation there. He gets completely surrounded, but he has got the Aegis, so he's happy to sacrifice himself the once. They turn over towards Ace. Oh my god, Ray, be careful! They kill Ace off, but they're left so low. Key attackers out of the game. Ramses has to run. Duracho with the bro under there, keeping Ace up in it. And look at the damage that Ace did right toward the end of it there. Almost brings down Ramses too. Kitaka's is going to try to address lanes a little bit here, but gaming. Yeah, they're ready to keep going for this push. And how do you stop it now that you've used literally everything? That is quite some building damage coming out. And not a lot, and not a lot coming pandas. from Nine Pandas. Not a lot at all. Tier 1 still standing in a solid spot. I mean, even that, in that game 1, did they take a Tier 1? I don't believe so, no. Uh, maybe they did end up taking the bottom Tier 1, but yeah, just barely. That was it. Right, they're knocking on tier fours. And nine pennies, they kind of just have to watch because they don't have I mean, their spells up. The thing, Gaming Gladiators, is to know that they've, they've kind of got nothing yep. to, to throw at them. And Ace with Blue to travel, pushes in the top wave a little bit too, rejoins his team. Meta's still halfway. Doom, 20 seconds, God Strength, it's coming back up. And they gotta just try. But tier gaming, four's going down. They just back off. They're like, okay, we got what we came for. The cold ends are coming back up. Go for tier twos. Blade safe. No messing around here in the lower bracket, even with the lead the game and Gladiators have. Oh, and Sneaky Ward, Tofu actually makes his way up top in the meantime, in that crazy cast range, he's actually able to cast it outside of vision. Charge! Instantly stopped from that Straight ward. Up into the air, the silence is out upon them. They'll turn, they'll get the grab immediately onto Miros. He's out of the game, still on him, no buybacks available. And they Ramsey's... try and get Tofu, they don't even get him. Tofu's still alive, finally the charge of Kiyotaka comes in to take him down. But they cannot fight here against the remainder of Gaming Gladiators as Rams is caught by the nasal goo. Gaming Gladiators is surrounding the Sven. Key attacker trying to help out with the charge across, but it's Quinn who comes crashing across the two of them. Rams is to fall. Three dead on Gladiators. She able to get the blink off. They just. Nice. The looks are still chased. They actually get the dead shot angle onto Rams. He still has popped the god string. Looking to catch them off guard, I guess. I mean, considering trying to fight. Maybe if he had the, the Silver Edge hit onto Ace, they could open up onto something, but it's going to come to an end. Ramses can't close the gap. He's going to go in with the jump now. Uh, instantly Yules. But no availability for the break, so Ace is perfectly fine. It's BKB, a BKB he has to, to come run. Out from Ramses, and he has to go full retreat right now. Oh, it's a disaster. As Nine Pandas not finding the jump that they were trying for. And Ramses. Ramses. He may still get caught. Ooh. He's got to keep running. The Quills, the Goo coming out from Ace. Solo, he attempts for a TP out. Quinn finds him immediately in the trees. Solo's out of the game. And Tara's gone as well. Both supports down. Maybe it's just this desperation. Ramsey's trying to catch gaming off guard, but not the case whatsoever. Gaming is absolutely prepared for it. Top racks exposed. Buybacks have to come out. They're going for Tofu. It's been a tricky one to find. The Bash is yours. there. The Another Yule. With the Yule, silence the dead shot. Doesn't uh, matter. Ramses will get the kill. But the Rax. They've, they've been taken out. Ace Stretcher on with a full push stop. The three tanky beasts with triple Lincolns. Hero, prepared. He's in, but uh, was that a Doom on an it's Illusion? A doom on an it, illusion. A, it was a Doom on an it's Illusion. A the Supernova's out. They, they can't, can't hit it. The seg. Mirror's out of the game. The, the base, it, it's in shambles. The third set of racks taken out. Mega creeps are there for gaming gladiators. They're trying their best to hold on nine pandas, but at this point, very little that can be done to give them a chance of turning this one. As the tier four's under threat, Queen goes in, takes out Solo. He's out for good. Ramses tries for the top of the Lotus. Can't even there, finish and it. And just himself. Queen comes in with the grab. GG. It's all over. GG is called gaming wow. gladiators today. Completely crushing nine pandas. Both games back to back folks. This wasn't even close today. No. We had what a little bit of an early game kind of stuff that they were getting some trade a very stuff for nine pandas, but a very little bit. You know, they have it's a little deceptive too because you look and they're like, oh they're not that behind on gold. But when they're going Midas Octarine and they're still behind on gold, yeah you can tell gaming they feel super comfortable. An excellent game plan. Everything ended up working out for them and honestly Quinn he was unbelievable this game. Uh, he was. Start to finish. You gotta watch out for this Primal Beast coming out again from oh, Quinn yeah. down the line in this tournament. 5-0-21. Absolutely crushed the mid matchup.